Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to prove that every number n belonging to the set of natural numbers can be expressed as a product of primes. Before we get started, um, I just want to know, tell you what a prime is. A prime is any number that uh, is divisible only by itself in one. Uh, every other number is known as composite. Okay, let's get started. Um, every number n can, can be expressed as a product of primes. Now this is kind of, you know, it sounds trivial, but uh, everything in math has to be scrutinized and it has to be proved, uh, then and only then will it be accepted. And even though this kind of seems like common sense, uh, you still have to prove it. So yeah, let's uh, start proof. We're gonna prove by contradiction. Contradiction, so um, we're going to Suppose not every number n belonging to the set of natural numbers can be expressed as a product of primes. Okay, um, so let there be a set S which contains the elements, uh, you know, small letter s, belong to the set of natural numbers, uh, such that the elements s cannot be expressed as products of prime, products, product of primes. Okay, so we just made a set. Um, according to the well-ordering principle, the WOP, um, there exists a smallest element of S. Element of the set S. Uh, because the set S is a finite um, set with at least with a minimum number of elements. Okay? So, uh, obviously, there has to be a smallest element. Let's call that smallest element S0. Uh, is the minimum of the set S. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, uh, so good good up till now, right? So according to um, according to the set um, and the WOP, um, S0 uh, cannot be expressed as a product of primes. I'm not going to, uh, let me write that, expressed as a product of primes is a product Whoops. Of primes. Now, what does this mean? That means S not is not a prime, because if it were, um, S not could be expressed as a part of a prime, like one times that prime itself, S not. So S not is not a prime. So S not is a composite number. Right? Okay. Now turn the page. S not is composite. So S not. Is uh, the multiplication is the is the, the product of at least two numbers m and n, um, m and n are greater than one because um, s not is a natural number and this is how kind of the uh, the factorization of uh, uh, of a, any number kind of takes place. This equation um, the number equals two different numbers. m and n could be different they could be the same actually, but um, uh, to uh, like m times n, that this is how it's um, represented. So, um, m and n are less than s naught because if they, they can't be more because the product equals uh, s naught and they're both greater than one. So m and n has to be have to be less than s naught. Um, so m and n are actually less than the minimum n element of s, the set s. So m and n, whoops, m. And n do not belong to the set S. And what, uh, just a quick recap, because um, uh, S not is the minimum element, and since m and n are less than um, the minimum element of the set S, they can't belong to the set S. So, uh, belong to the set S is actually, um, it can't be expressed, that number cannot be expressed as a product of primes, and m and n do not belong to the set S, so m and n are expressed as a product of 
primes because if they were they would belong to the set s right okay um so m and n can be expressed as a part of primes but s not equals m times n and if m times m and n can be expressed as a product of primes so can s not right because um s not equals let's say this prime one times prime two this is prime three prime four time multiplication all over so s not can be represented as part of primes and this is just an example it could be more primes could be less uh but yes so uh but s not belongs to the set of s right oops like this it belongs to the set uh so s not can be expressed as a part of primes but if it belongs to the set s it cannot be expressed as a part of primes though this makes no sense that means our assumption was false and yeah uh this is proved hence proved because if well i, I guess i explained it enough um s not belongs to s but uh it doesn't go in uh it, it can be expressed as a product of primes this whole thing made kind of no sense so yeah every number can be expressed as a product of primes i hope all this made sense if you do have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below uh like and subscribe are always appreciated um and yeah, I'll try to make more and more of these, this type of content. Um, and until next time, peace out.